Hello everyone, welcome to our coding letter for tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about MVC architecture. One important point before starting this session. For every framework which is in PHP, not only in PHP, if you can go to Java, .NET, Python, wherever you go, frameworks are common. Every framework is going to, every framework is built upon MVC architecture only. If you can understand one MVC framework, other MVC framework is going to be easy. Here, Coding Editor 4 is an MVC and we have Laravel framework, we have Gen framework, we have Symfony framework and all frameworks are created upon MVC architecture only. This is very important not only for PHP developer, so Java, .NET, Python and everybody so is going to learn this MVC architecture. What we are going to discuss here, the same rules and regulations will be available for Java, .NET people also, right. So anyhow, what is an, what is an MVC? MVC is a design pattern. What is meant by design pattern? A design pattern is nothing but organizing our code into a structured manner. That is nothing but design pattern. In simple words, I just want to show you a small program with you so that you will understand exactly what is this and all. Right? Can you see now? This is a very, this is a small registration form which I created in core PHP. So as per this, if you can observe this, can you see what is the code we written inside of it. Can you see? Here we have some PHP code, here we have some CSS code and again some PHP code and it is a combination of all the HTML code, CSS code, JavaScript code now you can see. It is a combination, almost I written 200 lines of code in the same file. What MVC is saying that, don't write HTML, CSS, MySQL related code and all into a one file. Please organize your code. Keep HTML separately, keep database operations separately and organize them by using a controller. That is nothing but MVC architecture. The main aim, the main goal of MVC architecture is separating the presentation logic with the business logic. That's what MVC architecture guys. What is presentation logic? Presentation logic will always deal about the front end and the business logic will always deal about the database operations like select query, insert query, delete query. So these are all the operations we have. Right. So in MVC, what exactly a model is, right? So a model are always deals with the database operations uh, like uh, to we can insert data, we can select data, we can delete data, update data, whatever it may be. That is all about the models. A model is nothing but simply a PHP class file that contains some of the methods and properties to work with the database. To insert data, there is a model and there is a method inside of it. We can get the data, we can insert the data, we can select data. For everything, some of the methods will be there. That's what exactly the model is. Right now the view. View will always talk about the front end. It's nothing but HTML, CSS. Right, so you want to display something or you want to add something, so or every form, the front end forms are going to be done by views only, right? If you are writing any HTML code, any CSS code, that should be into the view folder, right? So nothing but what MVC is saying that it is asking us to organize our code. Can you see here? This is our PHP program. So there is no organization here, right? So we didn't organize this code. Everything we write into one file, what they're saying that, what is the form you created, keep this into a separate file. What is the PHP logic you written and keep this into a separate file. This was MVC. That's, this is what exactly they're asking us, right? So this is what exactly the model and a view guys here. If we can come here, this is MVC. MVC is nothing but design pattern right which will organize our code what is this mvc suggesting as ci4 and laravel whatever it may be so they'll always ask us to organize our code let me show you the folder structure of our coding editor 4 can you see this is the folder structure of our coding editor 4 in this app folder can you see this is the controllers folder and this is the models folder and this is the views folder so if I have any HTML file and CSS file, I will keep into the views folder. If I have any database related file, I want to go and I want right here. And you can see this is nothing but our controllers folder. Controller is nothing but the heart of MVC architecture. Can you see what is the point I mentioned here? Controller, the heart of MVC architecture, or our we can also call it as a traffic cop. How a traffic cop controls the traffic in the same manner in our MVC architecture, the controller will control the each and every request and responses. Remember carefully one thing, without controller, there is no MVC seriously. 
each and every request which is which you are sending to server or which you are getting response from a server is happens via controller only right so each and every request right so that controller is in the, the traffic cop right so i will show you in the later session mvc diagrams right so now you can see codeignator 3 architecture this is what codeignator 3 so can you see here we have application folder in ci4 we have app folder in ci3 we have application folder can you see this is the controllers can you see i have a lot of controllers out there here which are already created here and can you see if you can go to views folder can you see there are a lot of view files are there all the html related files these are all now if you can go to models there you can see all the models which are going to deal with the database operation some of the models i written in the admin folder also have some models here right so these are the models we can use to communicate with the database now let me show you the mvc architecture diagram one by one so i want to show you the architecture diagram in three ways model to i mean from controller to model and model to view so how can how these can communicate and all let us see guys here i want to show you the mvc diagram can you see this mvc diagram just one flow how can we communicate with a model what is model will do model will always communicate with the database now can you see so here is the browser in this browser the user is typing a url http some url go php dot in he hits enter button one he hits enter button so the request will come to your mvc architecture first who will receive your request you know the first request will always receive by the controller the controller immediately based on the request so the controller will decide where to go either i need to go to model or i need to go to view that is done by that is decided by the controller now in this situation i am communicating with the model see the request once the browser url entered the request is going to come to controller immediately controller to model controller model to database again response came in c once the request came to model it won't directly display the output in the browser immediately so the once database communication done it has to come to model model needs to send the response again to controller controller will render the output on the browser this is what exactly we are saying now let me show you uh, how a view can communicate here this is the view diagram so if you want to load any view into the browser first request should come to the controller only after that that should be go to views and the view the controller here will load the respective view to display it into the front end so the view is going to be so again the view is going to the controller after that controller you are going to this is what exactly the application flow guys first request came to controller and it will go to view and the response is coming back to controller again and it is displaying in the browser right so this is a model this is controller and view communication and earlier we seen model controller and browser communication now let me show you this was exactly see in mvc a model and a view even though they want to communicate directly so see for example this view wants to communicate with the model or model wants to communicate with the view whatever it may be so that should happen via controller only so Remember, in MVC, a model and view may sit side by side, but they cannot communicate each other. So that that's why I use something called cross mark. A model and view will never communicate directly. So always the model view communication should happen via controller. So even though you want to get data, even though you want to display it, whatever it may be, that should be happen via controller. So they they may be sit side by side, but that won't work. Automatically, that, that they won't communicate each other automatically. Now, this is the final architecture diagram, right? Each and every request which is coming to your application MVC architecture, that first received by the controller only. In the controller, we have class files. Those class files will decide where to go, what to load, how to load, when to load. All are decided by the controller. That's why the controller is called traffic cop over MVC architecture, right? So, this is our architecture diagram, final diagram right even see there may be some question sir can i display the data into a model or can i display the data into controller can i display the data into view yes data what mvc is saying that display the data if you want to display data any data use use if you want to get data from database use models if you want to communicate each other use the controllers in the middle of it so this is what exactly the mvc so model can we use models to display the data 
can we use views to get the data from database remember carefully a model is a responsible person to get the data from database a model is not a person to display the data why because model doesn't know how to display the data how beautifully we can display the data model just knows how to get, what to get the data from database here is a view can i use a view to get the data from database no you is not a responsible person to get the data from database a view is here always to display the data view knows how to display but a view doesn't know what to display so that's why so here each and every section has some important role view has its own role model has its own role controller is the heart of mvc architecture even each and every request and responses which are coming to our mvc architecture which is handled by the controller only this is exactly the mvc architecture if you can understand this mvc architecture we can learn any framework in our php easily because each and every framework will be follow the same rules and regulations you can go to laravel you can go to gen framework you can go to ci3 ci2 and now we are having codeignator 4 so anyhow when i am discussing when i am explaining the programmatic way definitely i will come to the diagrams again i will explain to you first how can we work with the views how can we work with the models how we can work all together in our coding nature for we will explain you in a diagrammatic manner so it is going to be very easy for you but i want to give you a clear picture of mvc so how the coding nature for is working based on these diagrams so that it is going to be very easy to understand right guys this is all about mvc architecture if you have any doubts please comment under the video section and please subscribe our youtube channel gophp thank you guys thank you very much